Out of love, I'm doing the earn from it. We, we all straight over here, like we put a perm on it. Straight. Fuck is you on? Cops got a loop on. Coke in a ziplock, kicking like a new bone. Came from a half night, now my money too long. Fuck her in the red bottoms, mommy that shoe pawn. I don't do the coupons. I hear these boys mention chips. They told me get in my bag, I've been spinning since. I'm lit. Long as you niggas know though, 50 50, we peel caps over this loop. Ego movement, they in the building, I'm gonna let them introduce themselves and to the Left them and we gonna go with you. Hey, what up, y'all? My name is Nikki. Hey, and I'm Nicole. So, Nikki and Nicole, they had to get that girl. I was calling them Nikki and Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> well, usually I am Nikki. Well, but you know, for these purposes, I guess I'll be Nicole. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go all the way out. Um, so, the B Girl movement, Nikki, Nicole. Yes. Y'all gotta go on Boundless. Boundless. Um, bold, B Girl. Raven. That's right. This huh? is that in the third. Um, so, yeah, how did we get started? Yeah, get to it then. Yeah, I know she just took that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I wish you That's kind of what dude. I do. That, that's exactly what she yeah, does. That's, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. So, B-Girl was founded in 2014 by Nikki and myself. B-Girl Movement is an organization that is dedicated to putting forth authentic, multidimensional representations of black women. We do that through live events, as you know, you've been to yeah. our live events as well as thank you for the support, really. And um, we also do it by producing a web series and other kind of events. Right. And we also produced and directed a short film yeah. um, that premiered at the event that you attended. Yes. Uh, what you think of it? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. That's and all I'll, you got? I'll, it's I'll a just, classic. I mean, you got two things next to you who done made a movie. All you can say, <laughs> I enjoyed it. I mean. Yo, pressure. That's what happened when you got two legs. Oh, my God. You might have a cool one. Uh, 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 oh, roll the pressure. Roll the pressure. She's the one. I didn't even say nothing. I just, you know what I mean? But, um, nah, it was the whole event, though. It, was, it wasn't just the movie. The whole event was fire. Where was that? The historical, uh, Brooklyn Historical Society, fire. downtown Brooklyn. Fire. I was in there taking pictures of old stuff. You know, I'm so Brooklyn. I was like this. Yes, yeah. yes. So I appreciate, I appreciated that because it did open my eyes to other, other stuff like that inside of that building. Yes. Inside of that building. They, they had a great made. exhibition about black Americans and slavery, particularly in New York. So oh. it definitely fell in line with the theme that night, which was a celebration of black women right, right, right. through our documentary. Shout out to my homie Tish Dame, she was there. Yeah, what up Tish? Oh man, we had so many powerful yeah. women in the building. Yeah. We had wow. Tish James, we had Yvette Clark, wow. we had, um, who else? Assemblywoman, um, Latrice Walker. What's Latrice the, Walker. That's, that's the girl that had the, um, the web people? The you speak that right. The, oh no, that was um Evita T. Robinson. She right. is the founder of No Madness Travel no Tribe. Right. That was for I like the I like yeah. her movement. Like she was like, yeah, just tip off I like the spot. So just the whole event. It wasn't just the movie, but okay, right. the movie was so, the movie was popping. Yeah, yeah. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. I wish you nothing but success, bro. I hope to see you on, you know, when the lights is on block. I'm trying, I'm trying we real hard. We get the same way, I'm saying we get the same way. We gonna be up there together, hooping. 
Bedrock reality is the kid Cortez. If it ain't that, it ain't official. Fuck what you heard. Brooklyn murder half gang. I'm in here. Um, so, now this. Yeah, got that big girl. Little big girl. Nikki and I, it's funny how we met. Like, you know, Nikki and I have so many things in common. We both went to all women's colleges. We both were what colleges, what colleges. So I went to Smith and she went to Wellesley. Wellesley. Which, you know, people probably know because Hillary Clinton is a Wellesley woman. Um, and Smith, like Wellesley, um, is an all women's college. So we both graduated from all women's colleges that are like the Ivy Leagues of women's schools. Um, in addition to that, we were both prosecutors. Mm -hmm. I was a prosecutor at the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office where I prosecuted domestic violence crimes ranging from a to assault to homicide. Nick prosecuted narcotics at the Bronx DA's office. We're both members of Black Sororities. I'm an AKA Ski Wee. I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Ooh. And I am part of this 50-50 movement. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 50-50, what's up? To the bros, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, 
I'm dagging to your chest. The way I got your heart hurting, harsh verses got you scared, but I ain't even start cursing. So what if the kid with the gift of gab was to split your shit and leave you stiff like jabs? I act illy. When they sip on and crack Philly, so wrong and you'll get smacked silly. Go and ask Billy. The kid, I how I write this, write this. It's a murder ass thing, ain't nothing like this. Haven't you had a clue? Haven't you? Yo, haven't you had a clue? We leave rappers in sabbatical with rapid tools that'll baffle you rapping dudes. A little attitude mixed with a bit of aggression could be the right recipe for a rapper's delight. I'm tragic on mics, I'm spazzing on cast to be acting like they're rapping real nice when the raps is all right. You couldn't blaze the booth, y'all rap about your blingin' jewels. Listen to our demo and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. <laughs> Yes. On behalf of Big Girl Movement, because we want black women to know that you are beautiful, you are bold, you are brave, you are boundless, you have no limits. There's nothing you can't do. If That's you can right. think it, That's you can right. achieve it. Right. And and women that look like you, dark skin, light skin, thick, skinny, with a degree, without a degree, That's it don't right. matter. You can do it. And you and you're boundless. Whether you're in the block the boardroom. Corner corner corner. Corner. Mm. You're a big girl. Right. That's program. why I'm here. Any other questions just, you got for me? Servant. Listen. Servant. And they know I'll be servant, too. <laughs> That's crazy. You <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. Coach Allen gives me some answers. Y'all know what I'm about. Yes. All these people talk about. She yes. said thick and what else? Degree? I heard that girl. Yeah. Thick. And about two degree, two, three, depending. I was a double major, so we can count that, too. Right. Graduated right. with right. honors. Oh, but right. you know what? Right. Chill, chill. Somebody going to call me. I can slide you my thesis if you need to see it. If y'all right. niggas know what thesis mean, that means <laughs> if it's not a number, it's not a social. <laughs> she said she wants slime with the thesis. It's not. A, and, and I'm sorry. No, I'm just um, And part of the story that we want to tell, when I know you talked about earlier uh, presenting more accurate representations of black women, is that often what you see um, about black women in pop culture, on TV, on reality shows, is that black women hate each other. Right. We can't get along. Not we call kind of each other right. bitches and hoes, and we throw yeah, drinks on each other's tables. And that's not, not kind of our experience right. on a day-to-day -day basis. Black women have been my confidants. Black women have been my safe places. Black women are the, the women, the people that I trust. When I'm in need, when I'm crying, when I'm hurt, if I'm in the hospital and I need to call someone, it's a black woman. And so we want to present that sisterhood that is present amongst black women. Like what you see on TV, I mean, yeah, okay, there are those instances where people don't get along, but that's in every ethnicity, in every community. But there are also, and I would say the majority of, of the experience is the love and the protection right. and and just the the safety that black women find amongst one another so we also want to promote and present that because right. we've been that for one another like can we keep it a stack as you said is she challenging me no i said can we is that what we doing here today yeah, we okay definitely, we definitely doing that nicole and i have have recently gone through very tough times and i can honestly say i i would not have I probably would have made it through, but it wouldn't. It would have taken a lot longer had I not had a sister to call who could understand me, who could talk me off the ledge when I was talking crazy, when I wasn't believing in myself. It was black women, and not just you, my aunties, my cousins, and I know I feel like you had the same sort of mm -hmm. sister circle. Absolutely. And like we were each other's like sanity going through, you know, emotional tor turmoil. And that story also needs to be told about black women. Before Definitely. we end it, before we soon, what else you got going on? Tell, let them know what right else you got Right now, yo, popping. right now we we you know we moving the music, Brooklyn Hit Factory. You know what I'm saying? Myself and my partner, man, we trying hard. We going out there. You know what I'm saying? Our dream right now is to give the youth an opportunity. Like 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 I want to be that gate from the hood to the music industry, the hood to the film industry. Like you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of those kids don't have they don't have the opportunity. To, to to walk inside of a to walk inside of a, a of a big Kevin Lyles office and have the opportunity of sitting down face to face and meet with him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna make you sit down in front of this guy if you're not talented. Now if you got the talent and I think that and we and people saying that yo this kid needs to be somewhere, then I wanna be the one to, to have you sit down and present yourself to the Kevin Lyles and the Jay Z's of the world, Russell Simmons. Like you know what I'm saying? Like 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 I wanna be that gateway. That's right. You know what I mean? Like yeah, and, and that's how I wanna give back to my people. You know what I'm saying? And how we giving back to the youth. You know what I'm saying? I'm 31. I, I I can't be no rapper. I ain't listen. I ain't trying to rap. I mean, I, you know, I fight. I'm good at what I do, and I, and, I, and I'm stick to that. So don't ever think you ain't hearing <laughs> you about no <laughs> features. No, don't come ask me. No features. <laughs> no none of that. You so know what they I'm say saying? you got an album coming out. That's a lie. Don't don't. That's, that's yeah. a lie. You hear that? That's a lie. All right. <laughs> Remember, I said this first. I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? All right. So we looking forward to the fight. When is it? Yeah. October 30th. Yeah, October 30th. Okay.
culture advocates reaching excellence kid. I got two advocates. Next thing I have Nicole and Nikki. Nicole and Nikki. <laughs> so we're gonna ask Nikki, right? Um, let's say people want to get in contact with you. You know, you have the B girl movement. Um, how can they do that? And what, what, uh, what, what services can you offer? Okay. Um, so if people want to get at us, you can definitely email us. We are at bgirlmovement at gmail.com. And for the B girl, that's just a regular B, G I R L, at gmail, B girl, then movement at gmail.com. So that sounded real crazy, right? So bgirlmovement right at gmail.com. It's going to be right here. Oh, that's cool. So bgirlmovement, as you can see right here at gmail.com. So hit us up, let us know if you're interested in bringing us to your college campus, to your high school, to your school to talk to, you know, students, to talk to um, young girls, to just express what our experience has been, how we've made it this far, um, to just basically what we do is we kick it with y'all. We don't do like the from the podium and this, that, you know, we have actual candid conversations with students. So far we've been at the Borough, Borough Manhattan Community College, we've spoken um, to high school and middle school students on behalf of Spelman College's um, what is alumni, it? alumni Association. Association. They have like a a weekend seminar for girls. We spoke there. We've also spoken at Wellesley College and at Smith College. And, you know, bring us to a local campus near you. Also, you can follow us on social media, um, on Instagram, we're B Girl Movement, right? And then on Twitter, it's also B Girl Movement. Right. Or no, My, my B Girl Movement on Twitter. M-Y, My B Girl Movement on Twitter. M-Y or N-Y? M-Y, like oh, My yeah. B Girl Movement. So, so we, have, we look at so if just be girl movement. Y'all could probably Google that kind of thing. Right. There you go. We come up. There you go. If you got name rings bells. Oh, 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 you can tell they from that corner, B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What up? What up? What up? Care culture advocates reaching excellence. I got some advocates with me. Y'all already know. I said it before. I got Nicole with me. Nikki right here. So, <laughs> I'll be mixing them up, but it's okay, it's okay. B-Girl movement, we moving, 50-50, we moving. That's what's going on. So right now, I know y'all probably still got some turkey-itis. Y'all still got y'all turkeys in y'all. Chill, calm down. We're going to get into it. I got my man for a second. He's going to show you. I got, I got some things in the work that's going, you know, for your taste buds. But I want to ask these ladies before we get into that. Um like some of the most memorable things because like today i mean for me it was a hard year you know family wise lost some people but you know at the same it's life thank you appreciate it life life you know so but as life goes on you got to take in memorable moments and sometimes like for me this is like a memorable family time yes. the harvest festival time mm -hmm. thanksgiving for some but you know what i mean so harvest time for me is like you know, you get that the, the surplus of food, supposedly, you know, back in the day before, yes. you, you know, you put the food up, yes. but it's a surplus because, you know, you don't work that field and everything else. So, you know, harvest time and everything being right, right before you stir it up, you know, you get there, you eat good, you get it with your family, you get to talk. So, mm -hmm. experiencing that, right? Mm -hmm. what, what's like some of the memorable things that you would say about like this moment? If you have any, I don't know. Yeah, you know, my favorite part of Thanksgiving or the holidays, and I don't celebrate Thanksgiving either, right. and I'm definitely with you for the harvest season, right. but it's like watching, it's smelling the delicious goodies that my mama is making overnight. Because she'll wake up at like 1 o'clock in the morning and then start to prepare the ham, which takes like 9, 10 hours. Mm -hmm. So by the time I wake up in the morning, like I'm smelling all of this like delicious, it's good, like good. Dream, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, like 5 in the morning. Like, all right, let's go see where the ham is at. Let's go see what the, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's my favorite part of the holiday. That's dope, yeah. So, I, I, again, the food is always, I don't know, if they say it's food is good for the soul, for the soul, yes, it's so yes. soul food. The soul, soul food. food. Okay, we're going to soul food. What, what yes. about you? Um, so, I was thinking, and I was going to say, I don't have a, any particular like memory, but then I, something did come to my mind. Um, I think the most special memory I have, and again, I know calling it Thanksgiving is yeah. problematic right. and whatnot, but so we of the harvest meal right, in my you know family and in my home is i remember 
my grandma, she was the chef, right? Yes. So I remember her um, making the sweet potato pies. And she would like make sweet potato pies for like the family, but also people would like yes. put in their orders for the sweet potato pie. Yeah. And I remember being in the kitchen with her and she had this, I don't know what do you call it? The mashing mash thing, thing, the mashing thing. Mash yeah. Thing. yeah. And I mean, this was like. Yeah, yeah that's worth that's Her wrist game was right. what oh, she, she, she was happy. Okay, oh, good. Yes, yes. 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 I remember that she had this big pot. <laughs> it was an old pot with did dips in it. And she used to let after she did, she used to let me put my finger in, and like, I just remember those special those times with my grandmother. Those so those are yeah. the licking of the bowl. I used to be yeah. like this, babe. I want to make sure y'all got my guy Rossi coming with that good old fool. We got that. Killing the situation. This boy is good. I, I hear it. This guy is good. I this hear it. Rossi Jones. That's my guy. You already know Melly Matrix. I don't know him. That's his brother. If y'all don't know Dipset, they all the way there. So um, for the times, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, we do a lot of cooking. So if you ever um looking for a caterer, you know what I mean, this the guy for you. Rossi, what up, bro? You already know. So y'all check him out. Nick, we might have to holler at that I, upcoming event. I'm all about Rossi. A, a meal. We got you, Rossi. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. Bro, stay tuned though. We can be back, Coach Alex. Reaching excellent. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what up, bro? Okay, what up, bro? No, what's up, what's up, baby? It's good, boy. Yeah. Boy, Chef Spooky at his special. Rain, sleet, and snow, you heard? I'm back, got my bro with me. Yes, sir. Boy Rossi, Chef Spooky, aka Chef Rossi. Oh boy. If you don't know me, learn the name, because I'm definitely here to take over by storm. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna introduce you to some good old, good old, good old, good old tasty cupcakes. I done had them things, them things got people buzzing in my head to get another order, so I had to bring them in. I had to sit down. And this good old VIP, Hit Fashion, fashion VIP. Shout out to Hit Fashion VIP. Yeah. Shout out to Mega the Dawn Talk too as well. We in the spot, so you know what I mean? Yo, bro. Yep, yep. Let's talk about how you got into just shuffling it up, doing the whole comedy. Well, basically, man, I knew how to cook, man. I had a grandmother that told me, man, don't depend on nobody at all. So she was, I was always in the kitchen with my grandmas when I was younger, man. She taught me how to iron my clothes, wash my clothes, make sure I cook, you know, make sure that I was a responsible young man. So at the end of the day, I already knew how to cook when I was younger, but. The more old I got and became, I started really like having a knack for it, mm -hmm. you know, on my personal time. And then, you know, I did a little time, you know, I did a little prison time, five years or whatever like that. I came home and um, I got even better at it, you know, so it was like magic. I come inside the kitchen and it was just like second nature, you know. So I said, you know what, I, I would like to do that, go to school. So you, this, was this after you came out or during while you was in prison that you felt like? When I when I was in well before even before prison I was sitting here and um I was cooking a lot and um it was kind of like second nature to me by then but the more and more I did it the more like it was like magic it was like you know it was, it was so easy that like I said like second nature man it was like I wasn't trying hard to do something it was just naturally done you know so when I came home I was like you know my 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 my, my fiance like yo man you want to um go to culinary school at first I was laughing at her. Man, I got it. She's like, no, your dishes look so good, man. You gotta, it tastes so good. You know, I'm, I'm thinking she's doing that because she's like my she lady. Yeah, so you know, yeah. she support me, and I'm like, man, she, she gassing me up. I started cooking for a lot of people, man. They like, yo, man, you got a gift, man. You got a gift. You know, I start, I still was trying to go to the, you know, I still was trying to go around it, trying to curve around it. I said, you know what? I was laying down one day, and this commercial kept coming on, man. I'm dead serious. The commercial kept coming on, Star Career Academy. Oh, huh, why wait? Da, 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 da. So I'm like, yo, what's this going on? It was raining, it was nasty outside. I'm laying down in the bed with wifey. This commercial came on like six times in a row, man. The same commercial, no other commercial. I said, man, let me get this number real quick, man. So I grabbed the number off the, I grabbed the number off the TV. I said, let me call him and see what's going on. I called for an um, you know, walkthrough for the school or whatever like that. And our next Wednesday, I was up there walking through the school on 14th and 7th Street, man. Walking through, I see about like seven different kitchens and and they basically let you know, like, man, it's just not cooking. You got to go through school work, pay, you know, book work first to let you know what's the, you know what I mean, the logistics of, of cooking. You got to know the breakdown and everything of cooking first before you even get inside the kitchens. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like different kitchens. You got the knife kitchen when you see him, learning knife skills. And then, you know, you work your way up. Then you got the baking kitchen. Then it's 
the elite kitchen when you cooking for the whole the whole building. Mm. You know, they had the medical underneath us too. It was cooking for medical, they was buying our food and stuff like that. So it was a, it was a great experience being in school and I graduated, man, at the top. So bro, bro, bro. let me know, you know what I'm saying, that I definitely needed, you know, this is what this is what God is pushing me towards and you know, don't 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 steer yourself from that way, keep going that way. And that's what I've been doing, man. And everything been blessed I've been blessed from here, man. I can't lie, man. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, like you already know. This is like Cause I got the pause from you. Um, absolutely, absolutely. You definitely been hundred percent support. Nah, nah. I'm just look, and it's not just cause it's my bro. Right. It's because them joints is good, like for real. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put the card up. We are gonna put that up. I'm gonna show you what them things are looking like. And then I'm saying, yo, you just stay tuned real quick. We gonna get into some more with my bro Rossi. <laughs> Talk some mental with him. Nothing. Nah. Know that. Yeah. So we back. I told you I got the presents. Got them thing. These good old cupcake things right here for you. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Huh? Hold up. Oh, that thing said, oh, the chef. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah, to double them up. Yeah. Right? Double them up. Can't get them, mm -hmm. keep them cheap cards, man. Mm -hmm. Customers doing me real well, man. And um, I got to definitely uh show my support back, you know? Yeah, man. Oh, shout out to the supporters, too, man. It's really support me, man. It's, um. In the chef life. And uh, a couple people that I'm eating at in the chef life, too, in the chef world. It's been a blessing, man, you know? Little cheesecake, yeah, cheesecake, the strawberry, yeah, the strawberry cheesecake on. cupcakes, man. That's them right there. Mm. Juniors ain't got nothing on me. Sorry. I already got people talking about it already, man. They want to they bet it and put their money up. Anybody that's baking them mm. cupcakes and all cheesecakes inside Juniors right now, bet me right now. You make a cake, I make a cake. I bet you they don't like your cake, man. I bet you don't come to Juniors no more. All I right. promise you. I promise you. All right. Make they, a bet. They, they ain't got to worry about that because I bet it. I put the money on it. I'm going to smash it. <laughs> That's right, man. Gotta get in contact with Chef Rossi. You know what I mean? That's for sure. Yup, kid, culture, advocates, reach excellence, man. And uh, we just, you know, saw that part with my man Rossi. I oh, you know that was yummy, the cupcakes and stuff like that, man. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> so y'all can get up with him. Um, again, he does all the type of food catering. Contact him. Um, you'll see some information on the bottom from where. Uh, so with the ladies, I just took. Oh, just, I'm with Nicole. Nikki, mm -hmm. what's up, B girl movement? We're about to wrap this thing up. Is there anything that any one of the, which one of you ladies would like to add? Anything about the B girl movement? Well, we just want to say thank you for having us. I know we've been going in a little bit, going a little ham, making hamburgers in here. But thank you for having us. Um, we had a great time. Um, we want all your viewers and your followers to know. Again, you can contact us at B girl movement. Um, at gmail.com um, and I know you got your 50-50 movement going. We've been seeing y'all on, on Instagram, yeah, on social on. media. So we see y'all got a little movement. 50% you, 50% huh? me, 100% us. Gosh. So what I'm saying is y'all got y'all movement. I know y'all got sisters. I know y'all got daughters. Y'all got nieces. Y'all got mamas who would like to be encouraged and inspired and uplifted by women who look like them. So share us. Put us on. Like help us um, reach your people. That's right. Like, you know. And that's why they here. I help you, you help me. That's why they 100% us. That's how it works, right? 100% us. So, um, with that, I say what we always say when we close our shows, and that's be bold, be brave, be boundless, just be girl. That's dope. That's dope. So just be with the B girls. Yeah. Bold, brave, boundless, black, all that. Care, culture, advocates, reach of excellence. The Dom B, yo Jigsaw, sure, I love you, boy. Love you too, man. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bingo.